Chihuahua, it is relatively mild in our area today. Those weather conditions in other parts of the country, Mike mentioned, they are causing some big headaches for those trying to make it back home after the holidays. Katie Byrne has an update on the travel troubles. Traffic was awful. Um, the lines look awful. Um, yeah, it's busy. Hazardous winter weather conditions are moving through the Midwest and the plains as the holiday travel rush is going strong. Millions of Americans are making their way home from Christmas or getting a jump start on the New Year's weekend with snow and ice crippling parts of the country. A blizzard pounding Colorado stranded some passengers at the airport. Snow pile up also caused slick conditions on the roads. It's just dangerous, you know, you slip and slide and you start running into cars and everything, you know, cause accidents. AAA projects more than 115 million people will travel 50 miles or more away from home for the holidays this year. The 2023 Christmas and New Year's travel numbers could come close to the record set in 2019. This is the busiest I've ever seen it. I've never seen the security lines wrap around the baggage claim. I've been back to this point right here before, but never that. Southwest Airlines is back to normal operations after it canceled and delayed hundreds of flights over the weekend, mainly due to fog in Chicago. Overall, the airlines are projecting confidence they can handle the holidays after learning their lesson from last year's meltdown when over 17,000 flights were canceled. Folks are going back home after spending quality time with their families. Um, uh, we're happy to be serving them, but yes, um, just so that everyone knows, you know, the day after Christmas is a very, very busy travel period. TSA predicts some of the busiest travel days will be this upcoming Friday and next Monday. In King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, Katie Byrne, Fox 32, Chicago.